Hello, I'm Veronica Lorraine from The Sun. I'm here at Kew Gardens for the annual Orchid Festival. It's inspired by the beauty of Madagascar this year. Madagascar is home to over a thousand species of orchids and here at Kew Gardens today they have 5,000 on display. This uh, festival has been running for 28 years and as you can see it's absolutely stunning. I'm here with Henk, who has helped put this uh, festival together, volunteered at Q for a long time, and has got a chameleon on his head. <laughs> because this year's theme, Madagascar, um, lots of chameleons, and one of the questions in the kids' trail is, how many chameleons can you spot? So this is one extra. Uh, but we made six in total chameleons. And how long has it taken to put all this together? Um, well. The planning takes a long time, so we start basically after this finished festival is demolished and sort of taken out, we start planning the festival for next year. And then in the summer there's like detailed plans of what we're going to build, we order the plants, and then when January comes, that is when we actually start making and putting it all together. So have you been involved in all of this bit here? I have been involved in all of this. And what's your favourite orchid on display? Here? My favourite orchid? Oh, that's a really hard one. We have a beautiful red one, which is sort of on the other side. It's a Cambria, and it's such an intense colour. It's really beautiful. We bring in over 5,000 orchids, especially for the festival, to create all these beautiful displays. Uh, grown in Holland, because we don't have the facility here in Kew to grow that many orchids. But it's, it's just, it brings so much colour and so much joy to people visiting. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Thank you. The theme this year, Madagascar, and for the central display in the pond, we created this baobab, which is a lover's baobab, which is two trees that are sort of entwined together, and it's a tree of life. So it's about love and life, and we created all sorts of creatures to sit on the tree and sort of hang from it. So we got a snake, and we got a chameleon, and there's hoopoos, there's kua birds on the other side. We've got lemurs, all creatures that are really typical for Madagascar. And behind me, we also have uh, bats. Um, so it's really bringing the whole scene to life with lots of color and lots of interest. And the kids love that because they can stand here and sort of spot all the animals and sort of, it's just really joyful. Orchids are the most easy plants to look after, especially if you have a moth orchid, Phalaenopsis. They are very easy. Um, and once they stop flowering, you keep them, you give them a little sort of rest period and they often grow new buds. So don't throw them away when it's stopped flowering, just keep looking after it um, and you can get them back into flower.
If you can't get away to Madagascar this year for your summer holidays, I couldn't recommend more the Orchid Festival at Kew. It's like being whisked away to a magical world full of colour and humidity and compared to how cold it is and horrible outside at the moment, you will not find a better place to escape.